to remember. Mm. I was going to introduce my wings. Head of port, corporate <laughs> partnerships for the American Red Cross in the Los Angeles Division. We've had a great partnership with her um, over the past year and a half. And last year, with the Philippines typhoon crisis, we raised $6,800 in total, our organization. And now we're currently in the middle of a fundraiser to raise $30,000 total for the American Red Cross. And I'd like to introduce you to Jane Goldman. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Michael. So can you all hear me okay? As Michael mentioned, my name is Jane Goldman, and I'm a director of corporate partnerships at the American Red Cross Los Angeles region. And we are so grateful for the partnership with HonorSociety.org. As Michael mentioned, you raised a lot of money last year, and in 2015 it's going to be a total of $30,000, um, and we just are so blessed to be in this partnership. And I want you to understand where, and I know some of that donation came from the membership base, and I want you to understand where your money goes when you donate to the American Red Cross. So Michael invited me here today to tell you a little bit about our mission. So uh, pretty much every uh, everybody has heard of the American Red Cross, but not everybody understands exactly uh, what we do. Let's see. Oh, this one? There we go. Okay. So the mission is to prevent and alleviate human suffering in the face of emergencies by mobilizing the power of volunteers and the generosity of donors. And what's key in this statement is the power of volunteers because our organization is comprised of 90, 95% of volunteers. And Michael had asked, how can um, honorsociety.org members help? And aside from, of course, financial donations, um, volunteers are key to our mission. We have about 400,000 volunteers um, in the nation. And without, without people running out in the middle of the night to help with peop you know, families who are caught in a, in a fire or you know, some other emergency situation, we would not be able to fulfill our mission and help the hundreds of thousands of people that we do um, every year. And uh, generosity of donors is also key because a lot of people think that we are a government agency. And um, even the President of the United States relies on us when there's an emergency. Um, you know, Superstorm Sandy occurs and wipes out New Jersey and there's a, where's the Red Cross? Where, I mean, everybody just expects us to be there. And we are there and we operate 24-7. And we buy for government grants just like all the other nonprofits do. Um, so it is the generosity of the donors and people like you that helps us to do what we do. And we, we sincerely appreciate that. So our work impacts hundreds of thousands of people, actually millions of people a year. Every, 53, every, every minute, 53 people are helped by the American Red Cross. 5,600 times a day a person receives life-saving blood. And in fact, without the American Red Cross, you just wonder, what would, what, would this, what would this world be like? I mean, how many people would not survive if not for the life-saving blood? We actually supply 40% of the nation's blood supply. And um, 25,000 times a day, somebody's receiving life-saving training, whether it be CPR training, aquatics training, or preparedness training uh, through the American Red Cross. We have a partnership with Center for Disease Control, United Nations, and um, um, a few other agencies where we have this measles initiative. We sa actually save babies' lives. Over 400,000 uh, inoculations, vaccines are given to babies a day and actually save their lives. It's actually one for one, one dollar saves one baby's life, costs a dollar for this vaccine. And um, so we are very proud of that relationship. There were actually 750,000 babies a year dying before this relationship, before this initiative started. And now it's unfortunately still 150,000 a year, but it's down significantly by about 75%. And we hope to eradicate measles completely in the coming years. So. These are our mission areas. There are five main mission areas for the American Red Cross. 
everybody's aware of disaster relief. As I mentioned, the Superstorm Sandys of the world and the Hurricane Katrinas that you know wipe out cities, but not everybody's aware of the two house fires a day that just in the Los Angeles region we serve. And it actually went, um, I've been on, on many disaster calls because I really enjoy feeling the mission and helping people as well. And I went on one where um, a woman had literally crawled out the window. Her entire bungalow burned to the ground. She crawled out the window with the two children in tow. And when we got there, we're called in just after the fire department gets there. And they put out the flames. And this woman was full of soot, had just the clothes on her back. She was shaking like a leaf with her two children. And it turns out she was diabetic and her insulin had burned in the fire. And so the first thing we did was call her doctor and get a refill prescription, called into the pharmacy. We went to the pharmacy, picked it up for her. We gave her money on a debit card for um, enough food and clothing for three days for herself and her children. We gave her a voucher to stay in a hotel for three nights. And um, just that alone, just, the, just in that was about $900 right there. And then we had weeks of um, mental health counseling until she got back on her feet. And we, we provide the three days of hope, enables a person to get balanced, to pull themselves together, to know they're not alone in the world. Because when somebody's just lost everything, they feel like their world has just fallen apart. And we're there to put a warm blanket around them, and they know somebody cares. And we hook them up with um, agencies, uh, local agencies, so they can find housing and shelter. Um, in the coming weeks and find themselves to, to get back on their feet. Um, biomedical, again I mentioned the 40% 40, 40 of the nation's blood supply is served by the American Red Cross. That's what we provide. Every two seconds in the United States somebody needs blood. Preparedness, health and safety, that's your aquatics training, your CPR training, uh, your first aid training that actually um, saves hundreds of thousands of people a year. Um, international services, I mentioned the measles initiative, and in fact, this is the area of focus for 2015. Um, international, the, the international, the money that you're raising is designated for international services, and there was a match available uh, that, that Michael has, um, you know, signed up for. So the total will be $30,000 for international services raised. And we do more than measles. We also uh, go into war torn countries. Um, and we actually provide humanitarian relief to people who um, have lost everything. And we also connect families. There's restoring family links services that we do. So we are actually still to this day connecting Holocaust survivors with surviving family members. Um, but somebody who um, has been a refugee has come to the United States. We connect them with family members in other, in, in, in parts of the country where um, they have fled, and we actually connect hundreds of families that way. Service of the Armed Forces, we provide emergency communication services to um, service people and their families. And in fact, the government relies upon us to do this. Uh, if there's been a death in the family or illness in the family, we um, first confirm that it's, in fact, the truth. We contact the morgue or the hospital and we confirm this and then we actually make plans, we make arrangements for the service people to come back here to be with their family members and we actually many times pay for the flights for them to come home uh, to be with their family in times of emergencies. We have videos, we have 30 second videos on storytellers.org that anybody can uh, look at. It's people making videos of themselves, people who have been helped by the American Red Cross and there is a uh, military family there um, and it's that kind of circumstance and it's very, very heartwarming to see. Um, also, because technology has improved so much, people who would have died in war years ago are coming back more physically and emotionally scarred than ever. And we have um, support services, reconnecting families, um, support services so that service people can learn how to, how to get back into family life, how to connect with children they maybe don't know very well, maybe sometimes never even met. Um, they've seen some horrors uh, overseas and now adjusting is, is difficult and we help them to do that. 
our brand is trusted and respected and everybody's heard of the American Red Cross. We're like mom's apple pie. Um, Coca-Cola, which is the number one brand in the world, um, partnered with the American Red Cross in order to enhance their brand and paid millions of dollars for that global relationship. Just to give you an idea of the power of the American Red Cross brand. Um, research says that people think we're more trustworthy than 99% of brands out there. And whenever there's a disaster and it's on TV, some major disaster, you look for the Red Cross, people expect it and we are there.